What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Big news with this ETF. Crazy. Ethereum ETF approved. A historic moment for the Ethereum community. This is nuts. And shout out to everyone who thought ETH was dead for months. Let's go. This is absolutely massive. So I'm just going to drop little bit of info today this is not going to be a crazy video you know because this is a pretty historic moment as well but it's actually really funny i saw this let me get this straight shout out to trader mercury i don't really know what this is but this post i thought was funny institutions will now be buying eth via spot etfs bitcoin and eth are casually spending months trading just beneath previous cycle all-time highs U.S. presidential candidates are having a I can pump your crypto bags harder war. So basically, so much higher, guys. Let's go. I swear the market in the last two weeks has flipped from everyone thought we were going to zero, including myself, getting getting down, not going to lie, to super hyper bullish again. You know, and obviously we had this God candle the other day on ETH. Now, let me zoom it out a little bit huge candle and right now you know we're still chilling nothing's really happening but i give it some time to let this get priced in you know we'll probably start to see some sort of inflows i'm not expecting insane inflow volume you know day one you know it's, it's i think it's going to be pretty gradual but it's, de it's definitely going to be something in my opinion so as of right now yeah very bullish and I'm very bullish on, you know, our favorite Ethereum meme coin. We got MOG, Mog coin, Man of God coin. We're, we're ripping again, boys. Looking good. You know, shout out to K Money. You know, just a little celebrate, celebratory post here. Let's see you guys smoke. Let's see you guys smoke. Mwah, Tickers Mog, baby. <laughs> Let's go. So big day, you know, obviously for the entire market as well. But it just seems like, you know, ETH meme coins have been some of the bigger movers. Even, yeah, even some um, Solana meme coins. Just in the last 24 hours, last few hours even, a lot of coins have just been ripping. Even this one, I, I don't even know what this is, but it's, well, actually, yeah, it's up on the last seven days, but yeah, you know what, Mog's still moving, you know, even got some runes now, really moving, runes as well is starting to get heating up a little bit, not starting to get heating up, starting to heat up a little bit, which is good, you know, I think election meme coins are going to start ripping even more like crazy probably from now until literally the election um obviously number one coins still going to be moving i think soul meme coins you know they're going to continue but also let's check on some ai as well you know let's go into categories here because i still think there are so many good ai coins you know still just they haven't moved too much what is it command f artificial fucking type today well, I got chart AI right there but yeah you know we got some of the top coins here they're still kind of chilling not doing too much yet but I don't expect this to stay this stagnant for long again especially with ETH especially if it starts moving very heavy to the upside over the next you know couple weeks maybe into a month or two you know if we're going to see new highs for eth new highs for bitcoin very soon i think ai is going to rip super hard you know a lot of these projects you know even some of the newer ones that i've talked about like spectral is definitely one of my new favorite projects that is out tokenomics look good everything about it is very solid in my opinion and ai still you know my highest conviction coin for the cycle in AI and you know there's you can just go through like zig even GPU um, Olas as well you know it's a bunch of great ones you know 
That's it is what it is. I think AI itself is going to have giga pumps. But the thing is, guys, that you got to realize too. I think we are going to start seeing real euphoria, you know, hit the timeline, hit social media, just hit the entire market in general, probably pretty soon. Again, as long as everything goes to plan, everything decides to giga rip from here in the next month, we're going to start to really see, I think, a lot of people, a lot of normies take more interest in crypto in a lot of these AI coins, Bitcoin, DeFi, obviously meme coins, you know, RWAs, I feel like a little bit, you know, and obviously gaming as well. There's going to be a lot of, a lot of um, retail potential inflow coming in. You know, and this is uh, this is kind of just some information that I want to throw at you guys because at this point in the cycle, the main focus on different coins and stuff like that, you almost have to think like retail, right? As if you were just about to jump into the market, you know, let's say Bitcoin went to 95K in the next week, right? And you know that a lot of newer investors are now looking into crypto right now. They see these gains. You know, you got to think about what are they going to be doing? What do they actually do? How do they get their hands on, you know, certain coins? How are they researching their coins? You know, obviously they don't know anything about crypto, you know, so they could go to YouTube. They're going to go potentially on Twitter, you know, if they know to do that, you know, they're going to look up online, you know, and it's going to be, how are they accessing certain projects? How are they getting their hands on coins? Do they know what they're doing? You know, how are they learning this stuff? You know, you got to think like a retail investor or a first time crypto investor for, you know, a lot of people that are going to start flowing into the market. Right. You know, which is why a lot of people talk about, you know, listings on different exchanges, you know, especially like top tier ones like Coinbase and Binance, you know, because in certain areas of the world, right, those are some of the leading innovative ways that you know, people get can get their hands on crypto, right? So Coinbase definitely leads in the US, you know, anyone and everyone that is in crypto or that isn't in crypto, you know, usually they're going to flock right to the Coinbase app, you know, to start getting their hands on crypto, which is why Coinbase is huge, right? So listings are definitely something to pay attention to. You know, and I still think just general hype from narrative pumps and what I mean by that is that again in a full euphoric state I think fundamentals will almost come second once we see certain narratives really taking off you know we just had Nvidia earnings too which is crazy that was actually very good and obviously we had the ETF news which is also really bullish so you know I'm hyper bullish and I think with you know, I'm going to talk about AI specifically, but I think, again, fundamentals are probably going to come second to, in general, just investing in a narrative, right? You know, I remember just last cycle seeing different coins pop off strictly just because they had the name, you know, metaverse in it, or because just because they were a gaming token. You know, most normal investors, you know, over time, they're going to learn especially if they're brand new, they're probably going to learn very early on that, hey, I got to look for a new coin or a, a low market cap coin to get in to actually make a lot of money, right? So they're going to be looking at low caps and micro caps. Bottom line, what they're going to do is probably go to CoinGecko and literally scroll this list and pick a coin that's somewhat low in market cap and just buy it. They're not going to look into it. They're not going to do any research, you know, but the fundamentals behind a coin will make it that much better for you know for a normal person that still doesn't know anything to make them want to jump into it because they're going to hear that and be like wow this actually sounds like a really good project let me just blindly ape it still you know it's it's almost hyping it up you know fundamentals will hype up a coin to attract more investors into it right but obviously the fundamentals do matter right and obviously tokenomics everything you know, to a point matters, but at the same time, you know, I'm betting on a real euphoric run, right? That is personally what I've been betting on in this whole market for a long time. Um, and again, I think when people really start to, you know, blindly ape, 
start to FOMO. Again, I think fundamentals will come second. The only thing that's going to matter at the current moment is what narrative is pumping. And does this coin mention anything with the narrative word in it, right? You know, there's a lot of good and bad things about that, but you know, just to give you guys a perspective of what I personally think is gonna happen, you know, cause like we're not, obviously we're not in a bear market anymore, you know, cause when we're really looking for solid projects, new stuff, you know, you gotta find things that are just different, projects that are doing something different, really delivering on their promises, you know, um, just building some real infrastructure, whatever it is fundamentally that you would look for in a coin. But I think if the fundamentals are here right now for certain coins that you like, certain coins that you're holding, it's going to be as easy as just holding them from here, right? Because if you know that a fu the fundamentals behind a coin are very, very strong, then that's just going to add so much confluence to new people to actually ape into your coins, right? You know, or just ape into any coin. You know, it's just something I wanted to mention because... Again, you know, I feel like I've definitely shifted my mindset over the last few months, you know, with a lot of different things, but this is one of the main things that I'm, you know, kind of treating my investment thesis as, you know, as if I'm a brand new investor to crypto, what am I going to be doing? You know, how am I going to be aping into stuff, right? You know, and that's, that's really as simple as you have to play crypto, you know, because I know a lot of people go crazy in depth with certain things which i think is very important you know i like to do that i'd say 90 percent of the time um you know but again once we're getting into an, this new stage in the market i think fundamentals are definitely going to take a back seat to just you know waiting for that catalyst to then pump an entire narrative and people are just going to blindly buy into low caps of that narrative right probably most of them are going to get burned because once the narrative starts pumping, everyone's bags are gonna just go up 100%, 300%, you know, in a couple of days. And all these newer investors are just aping it because they see the green candles, right? So that's how I look at the market and that's kind of what I'm betting on and waiting for. I think that every single narrative in this market still has an, an entire another leg up at some point. <clears throat> I firmly believe that. That includes everything. I feel like gaming specifically still has not had a huge huge catalyst slash run yet at some point I do think gaming will have a gross run that will probably melt faces um, AI as well I think AI is gonna be the top performing utility narrative outside of meme coins you know my thesis has changed on that too meme coins I do believe will run the hardest the rest of the cycle I have zero doubt in my mind you know Bitcoin DeFi slept on of a narrative but i think it will have its time and will go crazy because how can you not bet on innovation even memes on top of bitcoin right that is why i'm still so hyper bullish on anything bitcoin DeFi. still have exposure you know i feel like i haven't talked about it recently in the last few weeks you know but again my thesis for everything it just hasn't changed but Outside of that, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about, you know, and again, shout out Mog, guys, let's go. I think over time, this is, this is going to be a huge bull run. We still got a lot of upside to go, you know, and just stay optimistic. You know, I definitely feel like, you know, again, over the last like month, that huge dip that we had, even though a lot of coins are still pretty down from that dip, um, you know, that definitely like triggered something in me you know because taking profits too is going to be super important as this bull run goes on just keep in mind guys that it once this real euphoria hits when you start seeing coins in every narrative pump like crazy do not be afraid to take profits all right because i'm telling you right now i will 100 percent be taking profits during this euphoric run you know that's one of the biggest signs that i'm waiting for you know is narrative pumps across the board to just go haywire right lots of profits will be taken you know but again we still have a long way to go even for the rest of the cycle i feel like you know whether it is a few months still upwards of a year so 
you know, just stay bullish. There's no reason to be super bearish, you know, especially during this dip. Because again, we just, we still just had the having, what, not even two months ago, or was it just over a month ago? So what is the date? May 23rd. Yeah, I, I think just over a month ago is the having, you know. And again, based on past history from Bitcoin and crypto, you know, we've seen most of the real runs start about four to six months after the halving, right? But the fact that we're still sitting this high up, just around old all-time highs, still is, is nuts to me, you know. There's just so much bullishness going on in the market right now. But outside of that, that's what I wanted to talk about again with you guys today. You know, just keep your head on straight. Make sure you realize profits this cycle. You know, I will obviously be talking on the channel if and when that time comes, you know, short term or long term. I will be telling everyone, you know, probably when to sell. Um, and the Discord, obviously, you know, I have a, I'm working on an entire exit strategy even though I already have one kind of planned out for most, if not all the altcoins, I just want to make another couple videos soon talking about that. Probably will drop one to the public as well, just on exits and how you know I'm personally going to be doing it. Um, but that's what I've got for you guys today. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.